as this channel has its main focus around technology and everything that is sort of related to it, I'm suspecting that more than a few of you watching this video right now are probably watching it whilst utilising a Linux distro of some sort, and if you are, comment which one down below, be it Ubuntu, Mint, Alpine Linux, Arch, hell, even Void, Gen2, or Linux from scratch if you're a fan of torturing yourself. Now, whilst all of these distros may have more than a couple things in common with each other, the process of using a package manager to install different pieces of software is synonymous with the utilisation of any Linux distribution. The package manager itself, of course, is different depending on the distro or your personal preference. You've got APT, you've got the Arch user repository, and Voidzone XBPS, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other bunch of other package managers too. The package manager is something that your average Windows user would be unfamiliar with. The act of downloading a program from the command line or terminal utilizing a package manager would sound like a terrible fate to your average Windows user, something that is a worse form of punishment than a three-year sentence at HMP Belmarsh whilst self-advertising as anyone's personal de-stressor, or Alcatraz, the Black Ops Zombies version. Even a few Linux folk may be perplexed by the idea of a Windows package manager outside of the programming world, and this is where our protagonist comes into view, Scoop. Scoop is a, quote, command line installer available for Windows. It has quite a wide variety of programs available for download within its repositories, and installs these programs in a directory called Scoop Apps. This single directory acts as the central installation location for all programs downloaded with the use of Scoop, allowing you, the user, to easily see everything, either with the use of the command line PowerShell or within File Explorer. Regardless, all of these programs are nice and neatly stored, all within a single directory, making your life a lot easier when it comes to clearing out programs you no longer want. This simple yet elegant solution to installing and uninstalling software using the command line interface is an invention tantamount to the discovery of the wheel when presented to your average Windows user. Without this, the mere thought of being able to install programs without trawling through dodgy websites and clicking on seven different buttons before Microsoft Edge allows you to download a single EXE file is less likely than my nan relating quantum mechanics to general relativity. Now, with all that said, and all the yabbering out of the way, let me show you what it actually looks like and how to install it and the programs that you can find on it. Alright, so step one is obviously downloading the thing, so what you're going to want to do is head over to scoop.sh and you'll be greeted by this lovely looking website and they've laid it out as simply and as easily to do as possible, so you have these two lines here, now what you're going to want to do is highlight this, control copy, and then you want to go over to PowerShell, it has to be PowerShell not command prompt, I'm not too sure if it actually would work in command prompt, but open up that and paste in that first line and then what you're going to do after that is paste in the second line now make sure to do them separately so don't you know paste both of them in at the same time uh, and then it's going to download a bunch of stuff basically just download scoop and once it's done that you can check if it's installed by typing in scoop space update and then obviously if it updates then uh, you know it's installed properly this should it this should work fine uh, the first line is only making edits to the current user account, so now that you've got it installed, it's time we uh, have a little look around, see uh, see what we can install, familiarise ourselves with it. Now, I think something important to bring up is this little bit here. So, when you install Scoop, this is what it's going to create. If you navigate to your file path, what you're going to see it's installed is these five directories now the ones that we're going to worry about is apps and buckets these three not so much i'm not too sure what these ones are but shims basically takes care of the path so you can execute any programs that you download with the powershell or, or the terminal without having to navigate into the specific directory anything you download with scoop will be downloaded into what's called apps. So if we double click on this, these are the programs that I've installed so far. And as you can see, I mean, it's it couldn't get any neater than this. The, this is where the entire program is installed. Gone are the days of having different dependencies installed in, you know, System32 or wherever. Everything is nice and neatly put in these directories here. 
I've got a few uh, few big programs here. So I've got NeoVim, Git, and 7zip. GCC is very useful if you're looking for a C compiler. Instead of messing around with the Visual Studio code extensions and whatnot, you can just download GCC with this. But let's go into it. Let's see. So what you're going to want to do is go up here and click on apps. And let's, you know, let's have a little browse around, see what they've got going. So this is going to do it in alphabetical order. So, you know, it's going to start with the numbers first. And you might recognize a few of these things. 0 AD is quite a popular. Well, I'm not too sure if it's popular, but I've seen it a couple times when I'm looking for open source games. 0 AD seems to always come up even though I've never played it. Each app is put into what's called a bucket. Now, a bucket is sort of a collection of programs that belong to the same genre. So up here we have the what's called official buckets. And you can see we've got scoop install slash main and extras and games. The vast, everything I've installed, so those programs that I showed you earlier, are all within these three buckets and I think most of the programs you'll want will be in an official bucket um, but there are a bunch of unofficial buckets in case you're looking you know the what they call community buckets in case you're looking for something a bit more niche you might find it in here but let's say you want NeoFetch so if you want to install NeoFetch on with with Scoop what you're going to want to do is actually type in uh, WinFetch so it's NeoFetch on Windows it's quite a popular program in Linux. People like to install it when they've done their own distribution, you know, when they've downloaded a distro or modified it a bit. And I'm sure you've seen it on Reddit or wherever, but you can download it with WinFetch. And these are the two commands that you'd use. So you would add the bucket that it belongs to, like sort of the repository of where it is. And you can just click on this and paste it into your PowerShell, enter, it'll add the bucket. And then you're going to do scoop install main slash WinFetch, just copy that as well paste into PowerShell and let it execute and then the way you're going to actually execute that program if I uh, open a terminal here is you guessed it you just type in the name of the program and that is the shims part of scoop doing its job so instead of you having to go into the uh, path variables through Windows all you need to do is just enter the name of the program winfetch which is the example we've downloaded here and there you go it displays everything you need to do. No need to navigate into the specific directory or whatever. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to show. It, they've made it really simple and I really like it. So a few programs that I'd say you would be better off installing through Scoop is something like, uh, let's say GCC. So if you've ever done C programming, you might have had an issue downloading a C compiler in Windows, for whatever reason, I've always found trying to get a decent C, C++ compiler working is unusually difficult. Like you can either go ahead and download Minge GW or something like that, and that installs a bunch of other programs which you then can use as like an emulator to emulate a Linux distribution. Or you can go into Visual Studio Code and download an extension, uh, which does it. Here, it's Scoop Bucket Add Main. And you only need to do that once, so as soon as you've got that installed, you can download all of the programs within that bucket. So, and scoop install main slash GCC, and that's it. Then you have a fully functional C, C++ compiler, and it's worked for everything I've used it for so far. 7-zip is also on scoop, uh, so you don't need to go through any of the GUI installations or anything like that. It's basically like a really, really streamlined way to download programs. Like you're going to get none of those weird dependencies that install themselves elsewhere. This is it installs the entire program through the command line into a single directory that you can then delete or move or copy whenever you want. Uh, if you want to download a free and open source game, I highly recommend Unsiv. Now, of course, Unsiv is uh, in Scoop, and I recommend downloading it through Scoop. It just makes it a little bit easier. And I think you, um, whenever you do enter something like this so this is from github right so you're going to want to add the games bucket and then you're going to enter this line there i think what it does is it does require a git installed on your computer but the wonderful thing about scoop is it installs it for you so you don't need to worry about doing that either like it's literally the easiest thing i've seen to download packages on windows there's no emulation of linux there's no you know unix whatever it is just a native windows program that works just like it does on Linux.
You can also download uh, NeoVim through Scoop as well. So if you really like your Vim editor on your Linux distribution, you can almost just copy it over to Windows with Scoop. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful, if anything. Or at least, you know, you can laugh at my inevitable descent into madness over the internet. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy this video or found it entertaining or whatever. I apologize, I apologize if it's a little bit short or off the cuff. I just think this program is really interesting and really, really useful. So if you're wanting to install a program, your first point of uh, contact with it should be Scoop. You know, just search for it in Scoop, see if it's there, because it makes it so much easier. And it really shows the user that the terminal is nothing to be scared about using. Like, it really is just how computers were and how installing programs should be. And this is how people install programs on Linux the majority of the time. Like I say, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like the video if you found it useful. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. So, have a good day. I'll see you soon.